Okay, people wanted to know how do you build the air battery and pneumatic gun combo thing. You can do staples, you can do brads. And this was impressive. We used a inch and a quarter brad to put it through solid oak. So that's impressive. Mobile power blah blah blah. So you need to get the pneumatic stuff you use oh get your tubes this is four millimeters by six millimeters amazon thirteen dollars for a kit with some uh fittings and those fittings include this guy so it's push to connect and um on this end you have one eighth inch npt on this end you have just the push connect your hose thin, that means you're not going to consume much air. When you press this lever, then you're going to pressurize this tube and it'll be ready to fire. Um, when I used it, I held this lever down to let the air flow. Then I fired the brad nailer and, um, and I released this thing. So you could lose whatever's in the tube for every shot or uh, you could play around with it and probably conserve some. Here we go again, The um, you use the quarter inch NPT. PT means national pipe thread. It's a tapered style thread. Um, looks like this, you can't really tell it's tapered. These ones come with the pneumatic kit. And that's the male. You're gonna use thread tape. This is PTFE, it's common pneumatic stuff, uh, plumbing stuff. And then um, on one end of my hose, I put this guy. This is the typical um, industrial shape connector, female. And the males usually come with the tool itself. So you can see on this arrow, you've got the male. So I saved a component here. This is the male. I wanted the female one. So I used female quick connect to the NPT, one quarter inch, um, threaded, uh, and push connect there. Okay, so now we have a we have a hose that goes push connect to push connect. No valves, nothing. Um, now we come to how do we fill our bottle? It's a solid brass. It's called a Schrader valve. It's the same as everything on your bicycle and your uh, car tires. This is um, rated full from a regular $15 kitty fire extinguisher at like 195 PSI. Um, you can dis disregard this part. It was called the Pussy Willow Cannon when I was testing if I could spray water and then I found this Pussy Willow water, which I thought was cool. And yes, it will spray it. The fire extinguishers, uh, they come with a gauge, not this one. They're usually smaller, but it's an incredibly high uh, quality valve here meant to retain the pressure for years and the gauge that looks like um, one of these or one of these uh, you don't really need precision so um, on a few of them they'll show the psi so 400 psi won't break the bottle that's kind of neat but we're not regulating in this invention we're not regulating in these Tools are intended to take like um, 90. 90 will drive it nicely. And above 90, you can do this adjustment. Let's see if this one has an adjustment. Um, usually, this is one of the cheapest things you can buy. I think you could probably adjust it here for the pressure. I'm more familiar with my rigid brad nailer and you can adjust the, so you, you start with the high pressure and you dial it back. This is the adjustment knob to, to drive the screw deeper or shallower. So you have to get familiar with it. The awesome thing is when we fill up this bottle, we can just get, uh, get an inch and a quarter into solid oak right off the bat. And that's awesome. I did these five units on the first test without any refilling. Um, so. Uh, back to the bottle. You start with a new one, then you have to uh, remove this part. So the 
bottle. Ever wonder what it looks like inside? It has a rubber ring, um, aluminum male threads, and a steel body. This one hasn't been cleaned very well. Steel uh, bottle and aluminum threads. Okay, but how do you get this guy off? Well, they come with some plastic coating. You might have to file a little, and then usually it's an 11 millimeter wrench that will fit right on there, and you can unscrew. But it's uh, actually bonded with some sealing resin. The way that I handled that was use a little torch. A hot air gun is sufficient, um, like for soldering purposes, or you can use you can use a little torch like this one. This is for creme brulee, um, but this is going to make it hot enough. You just try not to burn the rubber parts. So you'll start with the valve right here. Sorry, the meter here, and you need to warm up this region before you can unscrew that threaded gauge. And uh, the gauge is sealing everything from ac accessing it, so uh, this is a really neat porous centered brass to keep it from contaminating. But man, all the components in these fire extinguishers are very well made very high quality and the system is cheap so you can buy sometimes the bottle the whole extinguisher for less than you can buy some of these gauges okay the thread is 1 8 inch npt again no the diameter is not 1 8 inch it's just a funny standard um it's called 1 8 npt so if you want to be able to refill it and to know how much charge you have left you're going to use a joint like this. It has a, a male on this corner, three outlets. This is the brass I'm talking about. Male on this side, female on this side, female on this side. Then you put your Schrader valve off the shelf, brass. They come in a pack of like four for 12 bucks. And, um, and you can add your own gauge, but you have to cap this off or add a gauge. You can't obviously use this guy and still have the system sealed. So you're entering air here where my thumb is, and then it's trapped in the bottle. You, the high pressure air, when you charge it, is gonna push this valve down just slightly, and the, the air will flow into the bottle. And then you, so you don't need to press any levers or anything when you're filling up the bottle. Uh, you'll fill it up, and I just use a regular um, car, Fire pump. This one's portable and I love it. Thank you, Rigid. And then I'm getting a pressure reading while I fill it up. Again, regular tire filling valve. Dude, you could, if you're in Missouri, where the gas stations are awesome, forget you, Bucky's. Quick Trip has free air tires. So you go and you fill up your bottle at the gas station, and you've got um, probably 120 psi at least from there, the regular industrial ones. And then this one will take me up to like 180 if I want. I haven't tried to go more. It's all, as far as I can tell so far, completely safe as long as you're not, you're not soldering, you're not uh, gluing, you're not using anything that's not metal until you get to here. And if this ruptures, then you should be pretty safe. Just keep your safety glasses on. Um, then, air float. You're not using big tools like the impact gun and stuff that takes high pressure and high flow, whereas these, these bread nailers just need a, a small volume of high pressure, and that's it. I think I explained everything it takes to build. Um, the, front, the, uh, the front is the most annoying part. This is not meant to retain pressure at this interface that I'm unscrewing here. It says M12 by 1.5. I was measuring it. Most pneumatic fittings don't offer that. Um, so instead of putting a fitting on this front part, I just kept this front nozzle and then I tapped it. I used an NPT, one quarter inch, and I tapped this aluminum. Very easy, it's a soft metal. Clear out the threads. Don't let uh, metal debris get in your bottle while you're building it. 
And then here you have it. We go aluminum, aluminum, steel, plastic. Next step is using it. So is this pressure? Oof. Um, oh, that's neat. So if you use this fitting on the end, you're sealing. So now my, my tube, I can feel it's harder. It's full of pressure. Uh, you press once, well, it's halfway full of pressure. Um, you press once, then you're gonna be charging up this line. That's probably enough to actuate the gun once. Um, but when I use it, I will press down on here. So there's an open flow from the bottle tube to the tool. I'll hold that down and then I and then I squeeze my trigger and I and then I get my brad or staple. Awesome thing about this stapler is it's like $25. I said 20, I don't know, but they're cheap. And this is cast uh, either cast aluminum or cast metal uh, iron. Just really good quality for the price. This one does your staples. Um Okay, I, I could explain more, but this would go on forever. So let me know if you have questions. If there's something I didn't explain, I'll either post another video or I'll um, just answer in the comments.